and welcome to the TST 507 widescreen display video. What we're going to do in this video is we're going to show you how to program both the color display and the monochrome display. They both program exactly the same, it's just one has a monochrome or a non-color display and then of course we have the color display. So uh, both work with just the 507 systems, not the 510 systems. In the kit you get a few different things. You get a suction cup mount to mount the uh, display onto the window or onto the dash. So uh, you can adjust it, it's fully adjustable and it just snaps over and suctions to the whatever surface you want it to suction to as long as the surface is smooth. So we've got that. We could also now use a USB input to charge these displays. And what I mean by that is you can actually charge them off of your computer if you have a USB uh, input on the computer. So uh, we've got both a adapter, which is a 12 volt to 5 volt adapter, and we also have the uh, USB cord that comes part, as part of the kit. And so, as I said, you can plug this directly into your computer to charge it, or if you have one of those uh, AC uh, adapters that will go into USB that will work as well and we give you the um, cigarette lighter that is an adapter from 12 volts to 5 volts and it just plugs right in. So that comes with the kit. We also give you a second mount uh, with this particular kit and this mount is a rubberized mount that is actually for the dash. So it's a dash cradle I call it and as you saw it just slides in and sits there and it is a non-skid so it'll hold it onto the dash. So those, that's, those are the components that come with this particular system when you buy just the color or monochrome display. So that being said, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how to program this, and we're starting with kind of a clean slate on this one. As you saw in the monochrome, uh, we do have a couple sensors programmed to it so that you can see what it looks like. Um, but with the color display, what we're gonna do is uh, start by getting into the programming mode and you do that every time by holding the set button down and you hold it down until it beeps and then you release it. Okay so now we're in the programming mode and you can select what you want to program. Now it comes up first with high pressure. What we're going to do is start with the sensors. So in order to do the sensors you'll use the plus and minus button that will shift you through the different programs that you can go through. And if you do it five times, you will see at the bottom of the screen where it says Learn ID. Okay, and that's what we want to be in when we program the sensors, Learn ID. So once we get to that point, you hit the Set button. It'll go into that uh, particular mode. And then you'll see all the tires. And your right front tire is normally the first thing you'll see flashing. Okay, so um, normally that's what we use as number one. Number one is the right front number two is the left front and then it goes back over to the passenger side or the right side and it continues from there uh, three four five six okay so um, what we're going to do is we're going to take these sensors and we're going to program a couple of the sensors into this particular monitor this display will work with all of our 507 sensors including the 507 sce sensor that we use in our trucking our commercial line so we're going to use that one first. We'll program that into this monitor first. And so what we're going to do is we're going to hit the set button one time because we want to program it on that first tire position. So you'll see that all the F's are blinking and we're going to, I'm going to actually push the monitor down to it. The sweet spot on this particular monitor I have found is just to the left of the TSTtruck.com address at the bottom that is stamped onto the monitor. So if I hold it just to the left of that, and then I hit the go button, it grabs it, and we're going to hit the set button to save it. So I had programmed this particular sensor into the other monitor, and that's why that started beeping <laughs> when I reprogrammed this. So you got to be careful to keep things separated a little bit. Usually we say keep your sensors separated about two to three foot away from the one that you're programming. Okay, so that, that one is programmed now into the first tire position. Now what I want to do is I want to hit the plus button and I want to go to the second tire position. Okay, and so what we're going to do with that one is we're going to program a completely different sensor in there. 
um, we'll use one of these cap sensors, the 507 cap sensor, and we'll program that into the second position. So again, you're going to push your set button. It will allow the Fs to flash. Then you're going to push go. And as soon as it grabs it, you immediately push set to save it in that position. So now we've got two sensors programmed, sensor position one and position number two. So we're going to put that aside. Now I'm going to grab um, one of the flow through sensors just to show you that we can program that in as well. So the flow through sensor we're going to put in position number three. Again, we're going to hit the plus. That's going to jump us over to position number three. Now, if I want to skip an axle, which I normally do when I'm programming for a motorhome, and we're going to program it so that uh, you want to do the rear dualies back an axle so it separates it a little bit more on the screen. It looks a little bit better. It's easier to see when you're driving. So in order to do that, all I'm going to do is push the plus button until I get to that next axle back. And you'll see that the sensor uh, or the tire position is now uh, going to the third axle. Not the uh, steer axle, not the second axle, but the third axle back. So I'm going to hold it next to the sensor. I'm going to push the set button so that all the Fs are blinking. Push the go to grab it, grab the code, immediately push set to save it. So now we've got three sensors in there. And you saw I used three different 507 sensors. So that's ready to go. And let's say uh, we've got a fourth sensor. I'll just program this one in just for the fun of it. And I'm going to put that on the inner dual on this side. So I'm going to use the plus button. It's going to the inner dual. When you see all Fs, by the way, on the screen, that means that nothing is programmed to that tire position. So when you get out of this programming mode, you will not see an icon for a tire at that particular position. So most of these tires you see here will not show up only the ones you program. We're going to hit the set button once again. The Fs are going to be blinking. We're going to hit go. And it grabbed the sensor. And we're going to hit set. And that's, a, that's programmed as well now. So now we have four sensors in there. So in order to see what we've programmed, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the back button. When I hit the back button, you see where we started from. And then I'm going to hit back again, and that'll bring us to the main screen. Now you'll hear that it's beeping. That's because it's zero pressure, and there is, the sensors are not on the wheel yet. So in order to stop that beeping, you can hit any button, and it'll stop the beeping. And that's what it's supposed to do, because it's showing you that it's zero pressure, and it's showing you the temperature, which I believe here is 72, and it's basically operating correctly. Now. What I would do at this point, once I got all the sensors programmed in, I don't put them on the tires yet. What I want to do is I want to program the high pressure and the low pressure. So we're going to do that next. Mm -hmm.